When most people think of football, 11 man is what comes to mind. But for some small towns in Oregon, six man football is what they cheer for. Our, they're their town, so they'll travel with their town. And that's where, if they don't have a team, that's where those towns and small communities miss. A lot of it, that's their Oregon Ducks is their home team. So. In six-man football, the field is 40 yards wide, which is 10 yards less than a normal field. Some of the new rules prohibits the quarterback from scrambling, and it allows each offensive player to become an eligible receiver. It was really cool, especially for the teams that like haven't had a football team in the past years, you know. It's a really good opportunity for people to actually like go out and be able to play football. The Oregon School Activities Association created a two-year pilot program for six-man football that allows small schools that can't field an eight-man team able to play with six players. Even though the pilot doesn't allow for playoffs, the six-man teams have agreed to create an unofficial postseason tournament until the league is fully adopted. These grandstands, they may be empty now, but come each Friday in the fall, you can find this one, along with many others, completely full of community members supporting their new team. I, I mean, for us, we've kind of had like a consistent community, but at away games, yeah, a, a lot more people have showed up to those. Even when we were meeting at neutral sites, we, we saw a lot of people. While it may not be your classic football game, the league is already planning on adding eight more teams next year. But I think the most important thing to me is the community spirit and the, that stuff's still alive. It's just out there, we gotta go get it. Reporting for Duck TV Sports, I'm Mitchell Riverall.